Anything you do in the cafe doesn't really matter. Choosing one of the bonuses that give you extra health or other battle-based stats will help up quite a bit, but you don't need to have any of those, really. Once you get into the prologue area, you just grab the gas can and then move on to the gas station. Once you're inside the gas station, make sure to grab the cheese loaf and say that you are an employee. You have to say you're an employee in order to get enough experience points to level up every single basic stat. Grab your file in the, in the back room. And once you're in the garage, make sure to check the fuse box and head back out to grab the fuse from the shelf. Plug that bad boy in and start the lift. You get your first third of your gas can here from the car. From here, you want to head down to the train car and grab the next can of gas as well as a class ring. By talking to Howie here, you should be able to get your hands on clam jerky, which will give you enough strength to open the door. Out back, you can check the fridge for some more gas, as well as fight this Minotaur. You're going to have to fight every enemy you encounter because you need the experience points they give you. General rule of thumb is just throw your rock and hit them with a stick. This will work for basically every enemy except for the spiders or the dust devil, who have different tactics required. Go ahead and claim your prize of gas from the milk car and head on to the farmhouse. From here, you want to check the bear's box in order to get the pears, as well as talk to Elias to give you the barn key, which you need. Head on to the bathroom and flush the toilet for some free experience points. You should have enough now to buy one of your stats. You want to choose Fashion Sense in order to open up extra areas. Once you're in the barn, go ahead and grab the fishing rod, as well as fight the robot. Simone's monster is the weakest enemy around, so you shouldn't have any trouble with this one. When you invested in Moxie earlier, you should be able to grab the welding gloves from the tool bench, as well as the free gas can right here. Find the scarecrow outside. Make sure you throw a rock every turn and then hit it with your stick. Behind the scarecrow is a tractor, which you can get gasoline from, as well as play around with for five experience points. Make sure to check the class rings box as well, because you want to give Elias your class ring in order to get five experience points. Make sure to pick up a strong back so you can open the cabin out in the barn and get some free medical gasoline. In the train car, use your welding gloves to grab a crowbar from the burning barrel. With the crowbar, open the loose floorboard and jump into the cellar. Make sure to grab the gross old vegetables, as you need those, and fight the spiders. In order to win this battle, you must target the stronger spider in the bottom. He deals five poison damage instead of three, and will kill you a lot faster. You need to be able to deal at least five damage per turn in order to win. With fishing rod equipped, you can actually fish in the toilet and get some pants. The dust devil is very strong. What you need to do is immediately throw your vegetables in order to reduce damage by two points. Give you just enough health to survive, even without a health bonus. As long as you deal five damage per turn, you should be able to take him out. With the Dust Devil dead, you should have an experience points in order to buy the last skill tree. You eat your cheese loaf in order to get enough mysticality to open the backpack and get your hands on this little silver key. Back in the gas station, check the desk with your silver key and get the gas pump hose. Eat your pears and you should have enough mysticality to activate the machine in the garage. Finally, take your hose outside and you should be able to pump some gas for a full tank. And with that, you should have the fuel reserves achievement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.